Hi everybody. My name is Ethan Baxter and I'm a professor at Boston College. Now I just finished teaching my very favorite class. It's a class all about rocks and minerals and the materials of the earth and the stories that they tell. Now that I finished teaching, I've, I've realized that a lot of kids out there, including my kids, are still in school for a couple more weeks, a couple more months, and you're stuck at home probably like me. And so what I thought I might do was create some videos so that I could share with you some of my favorite stories about the earth. Stories that are told by the rocks and minerals and materials that make up the earth. So the most important thing that I want to tell you guys about in all of my videos is this. Every rock tells a story. Every rock, every one of these rocks that I've assembled here has a story inside just waiting to be told. So when I look at a rock, and I've collected a lot of rocks all over the world, when I look at a rock like this, I like to ask, I like to think, I like to wonder, what is your story? What is the story inside these rocks? And I've learned in my life how to read those stories and to share them with others. How have I learned that? It's simple. Because I've asked the question, what is your story? And I've let my curiosity bring me to those answers. Now it's taken a long time for me to learn those tricks, but what I want to do in these videos is share those stories with you. So in these videos, I'll be posting one each day, and each one will share a new story about one of the rocks that I've assembled here. Take a look, because every single one of these rocks and earth materials that I have here tells a story, sometimes more than one story, and I'll be telling all of those stories as we go. Now, some of you might want to create a science journal. Maybe some of you have a science journal. If you want to do that, what you could do for each video, you could create a page in your science journal. You might write down the name of the rock that I give you on the top. You might draw a picture of the rock, like that one right there. It's a good picture. And then you could draw some pictures or even write some words about the story that I tell you about the rock. For this example, I drew a Christmas tree because that rock kind of reminds me of Christmas with all that red and green color. Or if you just want to listen along to the stories, that's fine too. So, if you need more time while you're watching one of the videos, remember you can always hit pause to give you some time to write or draw or color in or just think, and then you can start it again and keep listening. These videos are designed for children of all ages, but especially children of age kindergarten to fourth grade. But that doesn't mean that older kids and adults can't enjoy them too. I hope you do enjoy them. And if you're ready, I'd like to share my first story. The first rock that I'm going to tell you about is one of the most special and unique rocks that I've assembled here. Most of these I've collected myself, but not this one. This one is very special. It's also one of the smallest rocks that I have. Sometimes the most interesting stories come in the smallest packages, like this one right here. And I'm just going to come a little bit closer because I want you have to have a chance to see this and be able to draw it. So here's this rock up close shiny very shiny black it's also very smooth i'm not sure if you can tell that very very smooth color uh very smooth surface and a black black color another thing that you can't tell on on the screen is that it's very heavy this is an unusually heavy rock and those are some of the hints that i can use to tell this story this is a story that starts with the night sky and I want you to imagine a time where you are maybe out in a dark, dark night with your parents looking up at the sky. And have you ever seen when you look up, you see all the stars? Every now and again, have you seen a star zips across the sky? They call that a shooting star. If you've never seen a shooting star, grab your parents some night, go outside into the dark of night and look up on a clear night and you can find one of those shooting stars. I remember seeing those when I was a kid and I wondered, what is that? What could be going on? And I bet you know, shooting stars aren't really stars. 
What they are are giant chunks of rock, space rock, zooming through outer space called meteors. And sometimes those meteors come into the Earth, and as they plummet down through the Earth, through the sky, through the Earth's atmosphere, they burn up into a red-hot ball, sparks flying, and they come zooming down. And sometimes those meteors survive all that burning flame and sparks, and they hit the ground with huge force, and they create a giant crater, a big impact crater. And if you're very lucky and very clever, if you go to a place where a meteor once hit, you can find teeny tiny little fragments, little bits and pieces of that meteor. And those little bits of meteors that have hit the Earth, we call them meteorites. And that is the name of this rock. This rock is a meteorite. What I like to say, this rock is a real shooting star. Because it is. When you look up at the sky and you see that spectacular flash of light zooming across the sky like a star, it's actually one of these. It's a meteorite zooming through the sky. So if you've ever wondered if you could reach up and grab a shooting star and hold it in your hand, well, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And I wish that you were here with me and I could let you hold this shooting star in your hand as well. I am holding a real shooting star. Now, some people say that you can make a wish on a star or a wish on a shooting star. And so if you want to do that, if you draw your picture, or you just want to look at this, if you want to make a special wish on this real shooting star, you can do that. Of course, the other story of this rock is the story of the very beginnings of our solar system, the origin of the sun and the planets. And we study the stories in meteorites to learn about these ancient times, more than four and one half billion years old in some cases. And those are incredible stories that we can learn from these rocks. So that's the first story that I wanted to tell, the story of a meteorite. This special meteorite that actually came from a meteor crater in Arizona. Um, some people call it Canyon Diablo. Some people just call it Meteor Crater. You can look that up online with your parents. I have hoped you've enjoyed uh, this very first story that I'll be telling. Every rock has a story, and that's the series of videos that I'll be putting together. If you want to watch these again, you can subscribe, and that'll help you find the videos more easily next time. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope I see you at my next Every Rock Has a Story video. Bye-bye.